Hey there, Captain. On this flight, we are going to talk about the mixture and how to lean properly. I'm here with Stefan today. He joined me on this flight. He is also a student pilot. And, um, you know, throughout my aviation career, uh, I saw a lot of uh, conflicting ideas on how to uh, lean and how to properly set the mixture. And so I thought, I did a lot of research, a lot of investigation, and I thought it would be maybe helpful to create this video where I explain some stuff that I found, some uh, information, some links to videos, etc. that could be helpful so, uh, to other people. So, let's get into it. My name is Bruno. My name is Evan. And you're watching Link to Peak. So to start, maybe uh, you could talk about uh, what you know about leaning the mixture so far. Okay. If you have any idea um, when you should do it, how you should do it, etc. Okay. Do you uh, have an idea? I'm just thinking. Um, normally, it's it's to um, it's for the mixture. It's for the engine, right? That the engine is at the full power and for the consumption. It, uh, yeah, uh, the more higher you will go up, right. the more you need to uh, mixture. Exactly. You need it back. Yeah, this is what I know, actually. Yeah. Exactly. We have never trained it, we have never used it in, right. in lessons, so I only know some little bit things about it. Yeah, yeah so you know very basics uh, yeah. about this. Um, so I started, like most people, um, with a flight simulator. And in the flight simulator, you get some basics of this stuff also, and also from the, the POH. Yep. And uh, there it is said, basically, when you are cruising about above 3000, that you should lean until you have peak EGT and then plus 50 okay. uh, Fahrenheit, yeah? And this was my truth for a long period of time. But then when I started studying for... Um, when I started studying for the exam, uh, you will find in the question catalog, okay. yeah, when should you lead the mixture? And the answer is, when the power setting is below 75%. Okay. This is the answer um, that you will find in the question catalog. Okay. And I'm like, oh, okay, so it doesn't matter how high I am, yeah, above 3000, below 3000, doesn't matter. What matters is percentage of power. Yeah, 75%. Yeah, so, but what do I do now? Do I need to take my power chart every time I'm cruising and I need to see, okay, how many RPMs am I doing? What's the 75%? Yeah. That's not very comfortable. Yeah. Um, so, in fact, then, if you see, I saw one video that talked about these markings here on the tachometer. Yes. Have you seen it before? Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's very interesting. There's Sierra Lima 5 and 10. Yes, there's SL 5 and 10. Okay. Can you give me my phone so I can take a picture? All right. Then I can show you in the video no what problem. we are talking about. So those markings. So SL means sea level. Uh. 5 means 5,000. 10 means 10,000. Ah, okay. Feet. Yes. And that's the 75% power marking. Okay. So let's say you are at sea level, if you are above the SL, you are doing more than 75% power. Okay. So yeah, so it means you don't need to take the power chart with you, as long as you are below these markings, you are fine. Yeah. And you can lean the mixture All right. as you see fit. But then, now the question is, until when do I lean the mixture, yeah? Yeah. Uh, and uh, for that comes the the next information I have. Can you take the controls a little bit? Of course, if you want. Yeah, just follow the river. Yes, it's sir. fine for you. But pay attention that we don't crash into anything. Yep. <laughs> and at least stay on our altitude. Should be fine. Right. <laughs> we lost a little bit some feet. 
This chart was very, very helpful for me. So you can see on the right side we have full rich. Yeah? Yeah. And then as you reduce the amount of fuel in the mixture, yeah. you get to this max power range. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. And uh, how do you know exactly where you are in this max power range? It's when you have peak RPM. Uh, okay. So if we start reducing the mixture, I'll just... Yeah, I think 2,300 is a good value to start. I will try to stay leveled if it's possible. It's a bit hard now, but I will start reducing this, and we should notice more RPMs at some point. And EGT is rising. Right. Yeah. If EGT starts going down, let me know. It means we went too far. Ah, okay. Oh, it's okay. It's still going up. I'm noticing now an increase in RPM. And now a, a small decrease. So I would say around here yeah. would be max power. This yellow marking? The, um, the yellow marking is just uh, manually controlled. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is to help you find Piki GT, okay. and then you can mark it, yeah? So, that's how, that's how you find max power. But max power, here you see fuel consumption. Max power is still, uh, let's say, high fuel consumption, yeah? Yep. And um, then this is the interesting part, which is actually, let's say, a bit, I don't want to say dangerous, it's not dangerous. But it was very misleading, because if you see the POH, it will tell you correct leaning is peak EGT and plus 50. Okay. This will get you here, which uh. is actually the most dangerous area for the engine. It's where the engine is hottest. Okay. This CHT no. is engine temperature, All right. basically. Yeah? And so, unfortunately, the POH makes no sense. And the POH was written many years ago. Okay. And in fact, this is now the next chart that I want to show you. All right. I'm open it. Yeah. And we have kids singing on our one o'clock position. Yes. Nice. Email leaning checklist in summary. Full yes. Only for start and takeoff. Ground yes. ops lean for max RPM. Takeoff below 3000 full reach. Take off above 3000, lean for max RPM. Climb above 3000, lean for max RPM. Cruise lean to onset of roughness. Yes, okay. this is this is from Lycoming, the manufacturer of the engine. Ah, okay. So they know what they are talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they should know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I took this from actually a video from a mechanic. Okay. And he has a very detailed presentation. I'll put the link here that you can check this video it's a one hour long video okay and he goes it's called basics but it's already very detailed yeah <laughs> for him it's basics maybe <laughs> exactly <laughs> um yeah and this slide summarizes everything basically for a simple aircraft general aviation like we are flying today without complex engine instruments okay. like we don't have chd yeah here we cannot see CHT, we can only see EGT. Right. Which is okay, yeah, we can check from the other chart that if you have peak EGT and then you reduce a little, you are in the best uh, best efficiency okay. area, yeah, which is fine. Um, but the, the checklist from Lycoming is actually different. Is you are cruising, you set some power, we are well below 75%, so we're completely out of danger that the engine yeah. will be too hot. Yeah, we're completely out of danger from the percentage of power. So, um, so what Lycoming is telling, you should lean until the engine starts... Okay. <laughs> so, we can try to do that. I'll just add a bit more throttle, that we are at 2300 more or less. All right. And we can lean until it's no longer possible to lean anymore. And we should see EGT rise, which yeah. we are seeing, and then it should go down again. 
But we are already noticing the engine is bubok bubokking. Yeah, I'm full throttle at the moment, so I'll give it just a little bit more fuel that we go back to the 2300 that we want. And actually, yeah. this is the funny part. This is how they, a lot of people recommend that you fly, because the engine is at most is most efficient when it's full throttle, ah. because the mouth is completely open. Yes. <laughs> so you have full efficiency, and then actually I can control power with the mixture. Okay, well, <laughs> yes. And yeah, the engine is happy. This is actually. Um, how the how Lycoming is recommending okay. that we run the engines, and um, it's the best for the engine in terms of uh, fuel consumption, in terms of having a, a clean, clean mixture that everything is getting burned. Because if you have too much fuel, the fuel that is not burned is staying in the valves, okay. is staying everywhere, is staying in the plugs. You maybe you know it from the simulator. If you have a good add-on, it says. Uh, uh, plug fouling. Yes. Yeah. Then the engine is not running very well. Yeah. So this is the the best for the engine, and the, it's the it's how Lycoming is recommending that you run the engine. Okay. Well. I hope it's interesting. Of course. It's um, yeah. You are, you are uh, using less. Uh, you have less consumption. Much less. It's good for the engine as well. Yeah. So it's. But I don't know why they not train this, why they not show this. This is very essential. Yes, no? I agree. My video is complete. If you want to take controls, do whatever you want, we can we, <laughs> we can practice... Uh, we can try some barrel rolls. <laughs> 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 no, no, just kidding. Don't worry, we didn't do anything like that. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already and activate the notification bell so you get a notification next time I upload a new video. I have to thank Stefan for joining me. It was a huge pleasure uh, having him on this flight and doing this video together. And that's it. I will leave you with the landing. Until next time, take care. See you.